everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm patching up these holes that uh, allow the hot water from the solar hot water panels to go into the house. There's also a well line, well not a well line, a water line that's going through here, and there is a uh, electrical line. And I want to get concrete into the uh, pass-throughs that we made in the foundation here. I mixed up a mixture of Type S mortar, the kind used for stucco work, plus a little bit of Portland, and I grabbed some extra gravel and I threw it in here, though not very much gravel, because I'm trying to get this stuff to kind of ooze in and around the pipes. I'm just taking little shovels of it and using this piece of wood to kind of push it as far in as I can. Now, uh, it's kind of a distance that I have to hit here. It is a 10 inch foundation wall and four inches of foam. So it's 14 inches, it's more than a foot. I've got to push this through. On the inside, I taped it up uh, with some tape at the bottom. And I also put some chunks of, of rock in there. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this stuff the whole 14 inches all the way down in there. But uh, what I plan to do is get it uh, up to the, the little pieces of rock that I put around it on the inside. And from there, I will uh, patch it from the inside afterwards to, to get it a nice, nice smooth surface on the inside surface. One good way of getting uh, concrete to kind of ooze down uh, in and around things is to kind of shimmy it around. It's, uh, process called liquefaction when it happens in the earth, like during an earthquake when things shake, uh, the, uh, uh, you know, the dirt and stuff has a better tendency to kind of, uh, well, kind of liquefy and, 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 and ooze and, and mush around. So as I'm trying to get it around these little uh, pipes, I'm kind of shimmying the pipes around. The vibrations allow the, the concrete to flow all around it and get a good... Uh, uh, good connection with everything and uh, you know try to avoid having voids in here because this is a, it's a pretty long run to go in here and you know I'm gonna do the best I can there may be some voids here and there but really the idea here is to you know make it so animals can't get through here unless you don't have mice tunneling in and just shaking these things to try to get it in there that's pretty much it. Other than that, I'm gonna be doing some more boarding on the inside today and uh, work on more doors, I think. At this point, it's just, you know, hitting whatever needs to be done because all the basic big stuff is done and now we're just kinda of doing the finish up work. Electrical, finish up the plumbing, doors, trim, walls, all that kind of stuff. That's it, thanks for watching.